We're looking live at our Liberty Skycam in Lynchburg, where we've been dealing with quite a bit of rain over the course of the day today. It is slowly but surely subsiding, and that is certainly some good news as we show you what is causing all of this, an area of low pressure just off the coast of Virginia. Okay, what it's doing is helping to bring in some moisture and some scattered showers, uh, the bulk of which have been east of the Blue Ridge. Don't get me wrong, a lot of us in the New River Valley haven't seen a whole heck of a lot, which is good news after the wet May that we did have. But for tonight, we're mainly dry in the NRV as well as the Roanoke Valley. Maybe a brief shower still in Lynchburg and Southside with temperatures overnight in the low to mid 60s. And you can kind of see how the focal point of these showers is going to be along and east of the Blue Ridge tonight. This is midnight. We could she could see, excuse me, a stray downpour moving into parts of the area. Most of us starting off dry Sunday morning and even around lunchtime. Better chance of a scattered shower is going to be along and east of the Blue Ridge. This will start to change the later in the afternoon that we go as we have a front moving into the area, helping to spark some scattered showers and storms that will then come in from the west. So in the NRV, we could see these after about four or five o'clock. Now keep in mind, if we see more sunshine, one or two of these could become severe between, say, five and nine as it moves from the NRV into parts of south side. And then we're clearing out tomorrow night ahead of some drier weather coming in by Monday. I think we're dry long enough, though, tomorrow to where temperatures will be in the low to mid 80s. This should allow you some time out by the pool or outdoors as again, storms mainly move into the New River Valley after four and we're dodging some evening storms in Southside and the Roanoke Valley. Here's that cold front I was talking about. OK, this is what's helping to spark those scattered showers and storms tomorrow. But this is what we've been waiting for. This front passes by the area. The winds start coming in out of the north. That's pulling in some drier air, much lower humidity as we head into the beginning and really the middle of next week. Dew points will be in the 60s tomorrow. That's a sign of the humidity. And when dew points lower, that means there's less moisture. So things are going to be feeling very nice. And uh, Rachel, you were saying that uh, your hair is having some trouble today, right? That probably won't be the case as we head into next week. So some good news for sure. We're breezy at times on Monday, but that breeze is bringing in some lower humidity. Temperatures will be near 80 and we'll see more persistent sunshine. Thank goodness. Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday afternoons and even waking up in the morning. It's going to feel refreshing. Temperatures will be starting in the middle and upper 50s. That will eventually change as we head later in the week. We start to warm up. The humidity comes back and, you know, by that point, it's the middle of June. So we expect yeah. that, but at least we get a decent like three to four day break in the high humidity levels in the high rain chances. So that is certainly some good news as we head into the week ahead. Soak that up, especially after mm. this past mm. month. Really, these past two or three weeks have just been brutal. It just feels like every day we've been talking about rain or scattered showers yeah. and storms. You know, in the hair department, all you can do is just put it up in a ponytail and go. Right. Well, so, I mean, I haven't necessarily done that, but yeah, I can't. You can't. We, well, <laughs> you're lucky. You're lucky. Yeah. All the ladies will nod. You're lucky. We almost issued a frizz warning this morning. <laughs> uh, I, I think it, it needs to be sent out. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Eric Johnson is here. Hey, Eric.